Hi Libra, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you guys a bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me get my card life in order. Let's see what God in the universe has for you Libra. Ooh, jumper. Judgment. So what decisions are you guys making? Seven of Swords. Page of Cups. Page of Rods, which is the Wands. Ace of Cups. The Magician. Okay. All right. Hierophant. Nice. I feel like... um. I feel like some of you guys may need to make a decision or are trying to make a decision on whether or not you want to commit to um, something you recently manifested. You got the page of cups and a page of rods. Um, that's new love, especially with the ace of cups. I do kind of feel like there's something that um, is about to come into your life to, that's going to make your heart smile. Now, yeah, it could be a person. Or it could be, you know, achieving a long lost goal. Okay, Scorpio, don't just sneak your ass into a, a Libra reading. You got double Scorpio here, right? With the judgment and then also the death card. So I feel like, yeah, angels are saying it's time to make a change. That's what I'm hearing. Um, not only that, this change feels a little abrupt with that seven of swords, right? As in... I'm going to drop everything, and I'm going to give this a try. Nine of Swords. Ooh, Double Judgment. Yay! Okay. With the Six of Cups here, this could be some of you guys reconsidering a past love. That's the first message. This almost feels like opening up communication. I feel like there could have been somebody who deceived you and that didn't sit right with you as it wouldn't sit right with anybody, by the way. Um, you're working hard on your manifestations. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you want to, you want to feel again. You want to be in love again. You want to be happy again. Yeah, this kind of feels like a past love or a past situation is re-presenting itself. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may not want to commit right away. I feel like there could be things deep at the core that hasn't been realized or worked out yet related to this. I do kind of feel like some of you guys are healing from a particular situation. And it's almost like while you were healing, this new situation presented itself. I can almost even hear some of you guys saying, yeah, Alex, I'm not over my past yet. Angel said you fell for somebody pretty hard. Meaning you fell in love with somebody like you were head over heels in love with someone. Feel like that person might have been Libra or, or Cancer. <clears throat> but there was something about that situation that have, that could have come to an abrupt ending, caught you off guard, caught you by surprise, um, hurt you. And now it's almost like a angels just said ghosted. Oh, I hope I can't stand that ghosting thing. But I do kind of feel like a ghost is reappearing. And now you have to make a decision whether you want to hear this person out not only that, this is somebody who you were in love with and you're wanting to know if you should move forward. Um, what I'm also hearing angels say, the real question is Libra, can you recreate or get back that old loving feeling? You don't trust this person to stick around, right? You don't, um, it's almost like this person kind of bruised 
your perception or ideas of relationships. It, this almost feels like you were um, blindsided. Yeah, you were blindsided. And it's almost like now, it, whether it's you going back to this person who blindsided you or you moving forward in love, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there is doubt, worry, and wonder in, well, dang, is the next person who, you know, I give my heart to, are they going to do the same thing as well? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys manifested either a Leo son or a Cancer son, and this person is sexy, but angels, oh, they're saying revival. That's what it is, because you're reminiscing about your previous relationship, the person who might have ghosted you or that situation that ended abruptly. Oh, it's almost like you just came out of a tornado and the way this new person is coming in is like a storm. So yeah, you're being triggered. Uh, the moon card is, you know, again, whether I want to give up my heart again, whether I want to give my whole heart, whether I want to commit and connect emotionally quickly. Yeah, be careful of shallow, whether you're being shallow or your person is being shallow. Um, angels are saying that could have been the issue with the previous person, as in, it, it feels like maybe they were presenting, like they weren't going to stick around, or they might have been presenting like they didn't necessarily want the same things you wanted. It kind of feels like the evidence could have been right up under your nose, but because you were so emotional about this person, you could have, you know, there could have been, uh, your perceptions could have blocked you from seeing this person's true intent. Yeah, there are two storylines here, by the way. There is somebody else who's coming back, a ghoster who's coming back, and you're trying to figure out, okay, can we get this thing back on track, especially emotionally? And then the second storyline is this ghoster does not make their way back and you have moved on from that ready for new love and you meet a new love and then you're scared of the new love because the new love is looking like the ghoster. Oh, that's interesting. Who do I have? Double Scorpio. I have Aries here also with the judgment. Page of Cups is Pisces. Page of Wands is Sagittarius. Uh, judgment here again with Aries and Scorpio. We have Cancer, Leo, Gemini, and Virgo, Taurus, and Pisces. You got a lot of stubborn energy on this table, um, Libra. I also feel like whomever this new person is, they're coming in at the right time. I feel like you're going to be able to commit to this new person. The only issue again is your comfort level with them, especially emotionally, right? For some of you guys, again, you may be afraid that they're going to do the same about face. Angels just also said to me too, with this page of cups, I feel like this new love is fresh. Angels are saying some of you guys may not have even known this person for a week, right? The second part of it is this new person came in like a breath of fresh air, um, right as you were still dealing with the old situation. Not only that, but you weren't even looking for this new person and they just kind of quote unquote popped in. So nine of swords and the seven of swords is almost like, yeah, I don't want to go through that again. Um, angels are saying some of you guys are anxiety rid ridden. You're stressed because you don't know if this new love is going to be like the old love. You have the page of wands and the king of wands. So yeah, angels. Yeah. The attraction between you and this new person is incredibly strong. Not only that, but angels are saying they grabbed your attention right away. These fell in my lap. Justice. All right, Libra. You know something, when I flipped that justice card over, I just heard this is how it was supposed to be. Um, I don't like the ghosting and I hate that that might have happened to you, Libra. But angels are saying people who are meant to stay, they stayed. 
So when I see the justice card here, it almost feels like that old situation was supposed to end, right? Because the worst situation you could have ever found yourself in, Libra, was that you committed to this person. You, you guys, you know, were going off happy and nice, and then they left. So it was almost like the universe saying, it's best that they did it early on before you became too heavily invested. Yeah, the justice card here says, no, this was supposed to happen. This decision was supposed to be made as it was. Yeah, look at that. The your I feel like, again, however you saw them, your perception of them was premature is what I'm hearing. You wanted a happily ever after with them. Universe was like, this was not a happily ever after person. Yeah. Now the universe is giving you the nod and saying, okay, proceed with the new love. This one is more your type. This one is more valuable to you. We, we're giving you this new opportunity because this new opportunity is more compatible with who you are. And whether this was a love relationship or work or family, I do kind of feel like whomever you recently fell in love with could have potentially hurt you. Right. So in other words, if you got that uh, job offer from a job, you your dream job or a job you just interviewed with, the reason why that didn't work out was because we had something new. Right. Angels just also said to me, too, uh, with the career um, storyline, what if you got your dream job, you went and bought a house and then they laid you off? Right. That's what this energy is is presenting as, especially with the seven of swords. Seven of Swords strategically removes all the obstacles so they can have an, you know, an easy path. So it's almost like cheating the system. Mm, six of Swords. Yeah, moving on and moving away. Whomever you were dealing with in the past, I feel like they, they, weren't, they weren't the heavy hitter in love that you are. Knight of Wands, for me as a reader, is incredibly immature. Okay, somebody who is is fickle and flaky and wishy washy. I I don't feel like you you would have done well with that new person. I love the three of pentacles because angels just said somewhere here the new person is more compatible. The three of pentacles to me is not only are you starting to meet maybe this one new person, but even friends, even family. It's almost like since your heart has been restored. We've cleared away this old debris. Now you can start attracting birds of a feather. So this the this old person leaving or you know uh, walking away, yeah, even your finances increase. Ooh, six of Pentacles and ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The reciprocity of the six of Pentacles and the burdens. I feel like that was that old person. And angels are saying, with that magician sitting there, I wonder what state of mind you were in when you attracted this old person. That King of, King of Wands, to me, again, is he's presenting in this reading as being very shallow. Being very shallow. And, you know, the King of Wands, for many readers, is a playboy, playgirl, right? So it almost even feels like you might have been trying your hardest to get this per person to commit, but they never committed. Ooh, King of Pentacles. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Because King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles with a new love. Kind of says, it kind of says it's almost like guaranteed. I put guaranteed in quotes because you guys still have to, you know, go through the, their free will, your free will, getting to know you, getting to know each other's likes, dislikes, habits, expectations. But the second option for you Libra is the better option. You got Taurus there. You have Taurus here. Some of you guys, it is a Taurus. Some of you guys, you just walked away from a Leo sun. And I know I mentioned the new person could be a Leo sun or a cancer sun. This, this could be this king of pentacles presenting like the past, the person you just um, left, the, left behind the Leo sun. So it could be a new Leo sun, but they're very different from the past person or the Taurus is presenting like the Leo sun. And you know, that could be, you know, kind of making you nervous. 
but with the Hierophant and the, the moon card there, that just says get to know them emotionally. Stay away from that shallow stuff. Stay away from that surface level type of information. Get to know them on a deep emotional level. Uh, Libra, of course, um, and Taurus. <clears throat> All right, Angel Lancers, take Libra home. Unlikely, yeah, that's the past person. Communicate clearly. Romance. Mm. I feel like it was, it feels unrequited with this past person. It just kind of feels like you were all on board. And they were on a whole entirely different ship. Entire different ship. Look for a sign. That's that deep emotion. Angels are saying for you, Libra, you need to love somebody who loves you just as deeply as you love them. Um, they're, they're again, highlighting that shallow love that, oh, we look good. You know, that trophy person on your arm. Yeah. They're kind of saying, stay away from that and steer clear from that. But you guys are Venus, right? You're ruled by Venus. You love pretty things. You love beautiful things. And whomever this past person was, they definitely were beautiful. You were incredibly attractive, attracted to them. But I do kind of feel like they were just some steps or some information that was missed or bypassed that the universe is saying going forward, Libra, get a little deeper. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I love you, Libra. Bye.